Live from Countryside, Joke Off Productions proudly presents A Minute with Eric. It's hot as hell. Fuck. I just want to call a record saying it's hot as hell. We're in the middle of a heat wave. Fuck a heat wave. We're in the middle of hell. It's hot as shit. Mm. Yeah. So, um, how was your day today, James? Uh, hot as shit. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Oh, man, it's hot. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do, man. Like, I've been frustrated all day today. Right. This is like, ah, no matter what you do, I like can't get away from the heat. I know. I mean, I was sitting in my air-conditioned office, yeah. clicking away at my computer, mm -hmm. and I was like, you know, it looks really hot out there. It was. And then when I uh, walked out to my car, I was like, damn, it is hot out mm -hmm. here. And then I put the air on and drove home. Oh. Yeah. Makes sense. So, I, I'm somewhat aware that there's a little bit of a heat wave out there. It's like a hundred and fucking fuck hot weather out. Yep. I didn't feel like doing nothing. Then I made a mistake actually walking outside. Right, right. Yeah, this girl, she like, um... She came out of me, right? Mm -hmm. And she's like, hey, want to have sex? I'm like, oh, too hot. Right? I hate when that happens. Bitch, get off me. I didn't want to do nothing. Ugh. I, I didn't want to text people on my phone because my phone was hot. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to do nothing. <laughs> at all. Don't answer it, it's hot. <laughs> I look down and it's like, ugh. Really? I didn't want to pick it up. But yeah. yeah. So that pisses me off. Oh wait, I think it might be Dance Captain. Oh, Dance Captain calling back. Yeah. Might be important. It... <laughs> All right. Anything you want to share? Not really. <laughs> good. Yeah, right. It's probably that's a, that's the good shit right there when you can't share it. Right when you can't say it. It's like oh, not now. <laughs> Remember. If you say what happens, it will never happen again. That's right. Mom's the word, man. That's right. That's Loose lips sink ships. Yeah, because it's like, oh, come on. Do I have to Twitter and text about this shit? <laughs> this is ridiculous. You know, speaking of ridiculous, you know what I saw on uh, TV the other what? day? What did you see on TV? They had uh, some kind of advertisement for one of those e-readers, mm. you know, e-books and stuff. I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, so this kid is uh, trying to read on the e-reader, yep. and you know it's I, a commercial. I think it's actually it's called a Kindle. The it's Kindle. The Kindle Fire, I believe. Well, I didn't want to use names. It's Kindle. Okay. Kindle Fire. <laughs> okay. Well, so anyway, the the parent comes in yep. and sets a timer. On the thing, okay? Yeah. It sets a timer so it automatically turns off after, like, you know, an hour or half an hour yeah. or whatever. So, apparently, the purpose of the timer mm -hmm. is to get the kid to put the thing down. Stop reading. Stop reading. And go out there and get some exercise. Mm -hmm. And I, I was just thinking... This is dumb. Stop the kid um. from reading? I, I gotta beg my yes. kids to read. How hard it is to get a kid to read? Ridiculous. It is so hard. And then you get one that does, it's like, uh. Why, if your kid likes reading so bad, would you set a timer to stop them from reading? No, uh, sorry, you've read a whole book today. You have to get out and run. Really? Here you go. Here's the perfect, let's do a perfect, uh, what is it? Green Giant? Is that what it's called? The Vegetables Green Giant? Yeah. Let's do a perfect Green Giant commercial. Little kid runs up, runs up to the table. Oh, yay, Mommy, broccoli. Let's eat some broccoli. The mom says, oh, no, not before you eat this Hershey bar. That's that's pretty much what this e-reader commercial was, yeah. I mean, you got to eat all your candy before you can have vegetables. This kid was about to learn some fantastic things. You know, life-changing uh, events in his life, and oh, sorry, the timer says he's got to go out in the backyard and play with sticks. But there's a lot of stupid commercials. 
a lot of stupid commercials. I watch a lot of tar TV, or I almost say cartoons, I do do that too. But it's alright now, I have a daughter, I can use her as an excuse. But I watch a lot of TV at nighttime. The commercials and infomercials are stupid. It's always buy something for 1995, And they always have to make it look harder than it is. Yeah. All the like, time. Like chopping vegetables? Yes. That's so hard. Like the girl with the mop. Oh, are you sick of bringing out a mop and then she like falls over, the house falls down on her and stuff? <laughs> is it, are you sick of scrambling an egg? They're trying to scramble an egg, she gets shot or something. Yeah, it's horrible. catches fire. This yeah. is ridiculous. She's going like this and her arm falls off. Yeah. No. Yeah, For to be successful, no. first, you have to make it seem like there's a problem when there really is no problem. And then if you listen to what they say, it doesn't make sense. No. I saw this knife thing. You got a knife set. You got three knives. Yeah. With no shipping and handling that cost $25. Uh -huh. But as a free gift, you got another pair of three knives that were free, but shipping and handling was $25. Ooh. On the extra set. Yeah. Ooh. So you're paying for both of them. Yeah, yeah, you wind up paying... They just try to reword the stuff, like, oh, $50. this one doesn't have shipping and handling, yeah. but this one does, but the shipping and handling just happens to be the same price as the knives. Yeah. It's all it's all how you word things, you know? Like, like it's all how it's presented. Like, I went to the casino. i never been at you a went casino. went to a casino? I went to a casino. You did go to a casino. A while ago. I with love you. casino. With you, remember? You went to the casino with, with me? With you and Jen. When did we go to a casino? It was a while ago. Really? Yeah, you know, like three, three, four years maybe. Was I drunk? Yeah, I believe you were. Okay. That okay. explains a lot. So, I never been there before, and this is what I I, I didn't play no table games yeah, or yeah. anything, but I decided to do some slots. Okay. So I'm playing these slot machines, and uh, you know, you put in a dollar. These are nickel slots. You put in a dollar, so mm -hmm. you get twenty credits. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm noticing. That I bet like, um, let's say I bet four credits, mm -hmm. and the machine does its little thing, you know, ding, 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 ding. You win. You're a winner. Yeah. And then it tells you you like one, two credits. Yeah. And I'm like, wait a second, wait a second. I just bet four. Yeah, you win two. But I won two. Now the way the machine presents it, like, I'm a oh. winner. Yeah. But see, I actually lost money. Yeah. I put in four. I won two. Yeah. That's a net loss, yeah. not a net gain. But, it's like but they won. present it like you win. So basically, yeah. you put in four credits. They yeah. took two and said, "Surprise, you won." Yeah. That's and, like, and I'm sitting here thinking, like, this machine could go on all day. Yeah. Telling me about how I'm a winner yeah. while taking my That's money. That's like you walking up to somebody with four dollars and I'm taking two dollars and be like, Look, you won. Yeah. You you go on you know, let's say you go all the way. You you, yeah. you bet big. Yeah. You know, you bet twenty credits or forty yeah. credits. And then it's like ding ding ding, you win ten credits. Yeah. And it's like, whoa, ten credits. No, wait, you yeah. just bet more than That's that. Like, so you didn't win. That's like the whole concept of people thinking they won the lottery when they do laundry and they find money in their pocket. Oh. That's what, that, those are things I don't understand. Just like when you, were, when you hear the auto, like the auto insurance commercials, you'll save this amount of money if you, don't, if you switch here. You don't save, you just don't spend the money. It's not like you're getting the money. It's just, that's like if you have $100 and you don't spend $100. It's not like you getting an extra $100. You're yeah. just not spending it. I, I saw that. Like uh, uh, the commercial where uh, you're going to save uh, $200 by switching so the girl goes and buys a purse. Yeah. It's like, well, no, then you, you, haven't, anyway. you haven't saved anything. You just bought a freaking purse. Yeah. Uh, that's anyway. Like, Oh, oh, no, it's crazy shit. Crazy shit. I just got one more thing to say to that. One more. To show how people are with, uh with money and stuff. I used to sell candy I back in high school for my organization I was in. So I would get people to buy candy that was a dollar. And the way I got them to And we're back. Right, we had a little technical difficulty there. <laughs> But as I was saying, what I used to do in high school was I used to sell candy for this organization I was in. And um, 
the candies would be a dollar. And how I would get people to buy them was, is I would tell them they would buy three for four dollars and get one free. Worked all the time. Nice. All the time. And you're getting them by four instead yes. of just buying one or yes. something. Yes. Yeah. So that's how I would do it. So um, that was it before our technical difficulty. Nice. So um, I hear you got some uh, some uh, literature over there. We got some fan mail. Uh, Thanks again for writing in. Yeah. Still no cookies. We really appreciate it. Somebody needs to send cookies. No nuts. I'm allergic. No homo. Yeah. No onions either. No, yeah. But who would put onions in them? Just That's in case someone decides coconut. to send no you... Coconut. Um, yeah. No coconut. No, something like that. I don't know. Oreos is where it goes. So, uh, Vic, Victor13 mm -hmm. wants to know, with uh, all the celebrities that you have met in your life, who's your favorite one, you know, that, that you've met? Favorite celebrity that I've met. Thanks for just assuming I met celebrities, which I did, yeah. Well, you but have. I know, I have. A lot. Um, I would have to say, when I was younger, it was the Yin Yang Twins, because I did like the Yin Yang Twins. Okay. It was fun meeting them. Nice. Something horrible happened. We won't talk about that, but the few people that were there know, and it was just horrible. So, yeah, the Yin Yang Twins. Cool, cool. Um, C. Holster 72. C. Holster. Yeah, it must you be like a, a cop. It's an initial. Oh, I thought it was like cop, a cop. Cop poster. Cop poster. But bam. Well, they write. I love the show, Thank and you. I am a Twitter follower. Thank you. Uh, I was wondering how long before you reach the thousand uh, Twitter follower for the thousand dollars. Well, I could do it right now. I could check real fast to let you know, holster. Um, right now. See holster seventy two. Okay. Poster 72. Let's see. Alright, we are at... Drum roll. Drum roll? No drum roll? More technical difficulty over there. It's a heartbeat. Somebody's knocking. It's the door opening. We need to come... We need to come more prepared. Alright. We are at... Fuck, I need no signal in this cave, man. Well, I'll get back to you, man, but thank you for following me. Oh, we are at... We are at 179. Woo! 179. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. Alright. Thank you. Woo! Yeah. Now it's... Now it's... Now it's after all that. Is it the heat, man? I think it might be the heat. <laughs> All right, last email while we still right. got time. Thanks again for writing in. Verb pipe twenty three. Verb pipe or verb. Verb, verb pipe. Verb. Like, verb. Like an action verb. Like okay. oh. Verb, like, verb pipe twenty three. Like actions like what white people name their kids after. Yeah. Like Mark. Right. Eileen. Right. All right. Verb pipe twenty three writes. Uh, Rose. What is your favorite color and sexual position? Um. I left off with Rose. There's one more I can't think. Mark. Chuck. Chuck. Rob. <laughs> Alright, alright, um, what's my favorite color? And sexual position. Ooh. Ooh. Um, and who wrote that? Verb pipe 23. I hope that's a girl. I, there's no indication. I, I just hope you're a girl. Um, alright, my favorite color is red. Because without red, you would be dead. Got that damn right. Yeah. So, um, and my favorite sexual position is, um, basically, um, I don't really have a sexual favorite sexual. No favorite. Not really. They're all good. No, as long as I'm having sex, I'm good. All right. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you know, get your face down up in the pillow, mm -hmm. down, knees up. That's okay. The London Bridge is fun. fun. London Bridge. But, um, I made that up with somebody. I heard that's falling down. Yeah, but not a lot of people can do that. But one person can. If she's watching the show, she knows who it is. You know who you are. Oh, she knows who she is. <laughs> she's the one that did, and that, that's amazing. But I don't know anybody else can do that, so. All right. It is cool. That is now I'm thinking about the nice. London Bridge. Oh, I'm going to catch her real fast. So that's the end of that. 
Um, I'll see you lucky people. Keep sending the emails. Fucking dumb commercials. It's hot as hell. Um, that's about it.